We've always chosen to shoot our movies at the wrong time of year. They're really difficult to make and they seem to do really well. So we'd hate to kind of break, break the habit of a lifetime by making it easy on ourselves. The fact is, you know, we have a release date and we have to hit it. So the option of waiting until the weather was really pleasant was not one that we could take. The conditions are severe. You can cook out here if you want to. Turkey bacon. I cooked some turkey bacon on top of uh, Yukon the other day. Grease just rolling down the hood all in the grill. I mean, it was good, too. You can throw me on the beach, you know, with the sand and the water at 100 degrees, and I'm straight. And it was a lot of sand. I would have preferred a little bit of water with that. <laughs> but um, it was cool. I, I like the heat, actually. It was, it was hard work. You know, we had to wear, like, gear. And so it was a little bit grungy. But we made it happen. I'm hot. I'm just hot. And I don't mean hot like Fabio hot. I mean, I'm just hot. My ass is melting. You know, the, the characters are living on the edge. It's a really difficult life for them. Um, they're right on the edge of survival. And I think filming in really difficult conditions has helped that. You know, it's been tough making this movie, but the life of these survivalists is tough. And I think that realism has kind of got its way into the celluloid. It really actually, I think, has helped me as an actor because you don't have to pretend. Like, you are feeling it. <laughs> You're totally feeling it. I think the heat is so immense that you find that everybody looks out for each other. You never take one bottle of water. You bring somebody else another bottle of water. You try to really look out to make sure that everybody's OK. And in a world where there's a danger at every turn, and there is no food, there's no gas, you really have to look out for, for each other. So I think the characters are much closer this time around. Hey! Go! Part of what's great about making films on location is I think it brings people together of different cultures and nationalities. The crew has definitely become closer and bonded because of the hardships of the shooting environment. I think we have um, a great respect for the Mexican crew who shoot in this environment regularly. I have a very international crew. Por favor, nadie que camine en todo el espacio de ahí. People from Germany, people from Britain, people from, people from America, people from Australia and everybody is working very, very well together. It is probably the, the most difficult working conditions I've ever experienced. On the other end of it, we're working with the best crew I think I've ever worked with. I have a fantastic crew who just work, they work their asses off, and, uh, and I have a fantastic cast who step on other lines and boom, 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 we can go. I shoot fast. You get a lot of coverage. You know, as soon as we arrive, we're shooting within, you know, 15 minutes, and we just blast. Action! Russell's a great director. Having another Aussie has been really nice, but he's really, you know, he's really on it, and uh, he's smart, and you can see that he has a vision. It's been so much fun. Action! Bang! Go! Russell's got a lot of energy and he's got a very cool eye and that's one of the things I really like about Russell. He sees great ways to shoot stuff. And I also felt because his visual style had influenced mine a lot, I knew that he would be a perfect director for the Resident Evil franchise. Working in Mexicali, we had a great location. The main sets that we had in Mexicali on the exteriors were one Las Vegas, Eiffel Tower of some exterior of the casinos, Las Vegas Main Street. We built a lot 
but we try to incorporate as well all the elements of landscape. It's just bigger than life. You just don't expect to see these kind of things every day, and, and you don't. But to see something like Las Vegas, like half burned and destroyed and covered with sand is pretty unbelievable. Working there was extremely hard. The sun and the temperature was amazing. It was like 135 degrees, and these guys were working on Las Vegas, half buried in the sand, and it's just epic. It's amazing what people can do, and, and the fact that they're just gonna tear it down after the movie, it's just like, wow, <laughs> it's so sad.